to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Remember, up the, the opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much anticipated fight. Round one underway. Zoning in with the overhand left. Dynamite's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Teddy, I think he's gonna go down. Solid, unable to survive that shot. He's on the floor. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy hurricane's able to land a good solid left hand What's the hook? a little head hunting with the right Way through round number one he clearly came in with a strategy here tonight teddy and so many times it's hey i'm gonna bang that drum yeah he is banging that drum that drum happens to be the body and he figures that he's gonna try to move on him so start doing it early on and later on he's gonna have a guy in front of him good step back counter punch there Just smashed him with that power punch. That'll Stay teach him to be aggressive with a tall fighter. Dynamite swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Deep cut. You're in control of this fight. Well, don't get careless out there. Keep boxing smart. Looking good. Keep it up. Keep those hands moving. Keep circling, keep circling, keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. There you go. We have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That will put us in position. Dynamite's corner did a good job during those 60 seconds between rounds. You can tell that he's a fresh fighter, not the fighter that was clearly dazed in the moving. last round. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Hurricane.
Hurricanes giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. A well-placed left hand up top. Dynamite trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. Hurricane's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Biting, snapping shot by Dynamite. Dynamite's right hand working well that time. He scored well. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Now hugging on the inside. Come on, kid. To the head he goes with a left hand. Work the body, Dick. Body shots. Keep working the body. Solid right by Dynamite. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than what it is. This is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Estás ganando. Just keep doing what you're doing and you got this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, listen. What he misses with a punch, count him. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Dynamite's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. <laughs> you got this one! <laughs> He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Not precise at all by Hurricane. Brings the hook that time. Targeting that overhand left. Targeting the uppercut, and it works. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Hurricane. Halfway through this round. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective 
throughout the night. Well placed jab by Dynamite. Move your head. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Big shot. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. sense of a flash knockdown there. You can see he's not too damaged. His opponent better be careful. He's still got a live guy opposite that. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. And believe me, the best indicated that he didn't really hurt him. His opponent's not coming after him. He knows that he's okay. He knows that that wasn't one of those big shots that really debilitates a guy. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Relájate, relájate. Relax, relax. You're okay, you're okay. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. Hurricanes put more action into these first three rounds than we've seen in most 12 round fights. Your scorecard at the start of round number four. Remember, they've traded knockdowns. He's up two rounds to one. And he's using that information, that experience very well. He understands where he could be vulnerable, but he understands also where he has to exploit the weaknesses of his opponent. Good block there by Hurricane. Hurricane's almost as if he's scared to throw punches right now, that he's just thinking strictly about defense after being tagged earlier in this fight. Well, he needs some help in his corner. That's where a good corner comes in right now. They have to straighten his mind out right now. They have to give him another way of attack. They have to give him a plan B. Jabs by Dynamite. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? One, two! One, two! Right off! Keep moving! Keep moving! Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Oh, and there you go! What a hook to the body, and he's down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keep moving. Yep, yep. Parries that punch intended for the head. Hurricane's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed. You're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. A solid left hand by Hurricane. And just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing is about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about.
Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. That was a great round we just saw, Teddy. And th this is why I'm glad I do my job, not yours. You have to try to score that round. Yeah, I have to score, but they have to figure out why they both got shaken up and make sure it doesn't happen again. Close round, but the good news, more to come for our audience. You gotta bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. Relax, relax. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He just missed that shot up top. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Relax, relax. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Dynamite's absorbing. Oh! Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but... If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Good defense just covering up down low. Face yourself. Hey, gotta see that come in. Let's go. Keep moving. Keep moving. He's tired. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. And this round comes to an end. And you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Oh, did you see that? And he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, dude. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three. Down he goes, 
But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Hurricane's putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. You're not focusing. Tried to hook. Wow! That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Look at this! Dynamite's unable to get up and continue on. Kane's fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.